-hmm. They dominated the airwaves for 26 years as the self-proclaimed king of the Clohertz. Steve Cannon was a radio legend. The former WCCO radio personality died last night after a five-month battle with cancer. The Cannon Miss, part three, here in the Fame Basement Studio. For 26 years, his voice was the backdrop for Workday's End, a colorful, curmudgeonly neighbor riding shotgun in thousands of cars simultaneously. There was no one, nowhere, who did drive time like Cannon. As you pass by Channel 11 there, that guy in the navy blue suit and that awful bow tie, that's Paul Majors, hitchhiking. Don't give him a ride, he's dangerous. A proud kid from the range, Steve Cannon came to the big town wanting to be an actor. Spent a couple of years as a kid's TV host, then did a stretch at KSTP before finding his home at WCCO. 4-1 was a score. Houston's bumped out of there now. And Atlanta's he created a stable of on-air characters, Morgan Mundane, Ma Linger, and Backlash LaRue, that satisfied his taste for the dramatic. And while Cannon was always a touch gruff and usually cynical to the ways of the world, he showed genuine affection for those who tuned him in. That I felt that when I talked to them out there, that I saw one person, which was a composite of everybody out there, and I want to thank that person, that composite, for being my pal and supporting me for 26 years here at this radio station. If you're a real curmudgeon and, and malicious about it, you're not going to endear yourself to people. People obviously saw through that with Steve and saw something else uh, a big, a big-hearted guy who clearly loved what he did. Hey, what's that's the temp, Jimmy? 86, that's right, because we're 86 in the Cannon Mess today. Cannon left the airwaves in 1997, trading his public persona for a small circle of family and friends, like writer and radio personality T.D. Mischke. He says Cannon talked little about the glory days or what he meant to listeners. I can't believe he didn't know or from time to time think about the extraordinary impact he had and how many people still from time to time thought of him and thought of him fondly. But he never spoke of it. He called himself Mr. Yesterday. That's how he referred to himself. Tom Mischke says Steve Cannon loved his family, his Vikings and twins, jazz music and classy watering holes. Steve Cannon was 81 years old.